I'm going to show you all how to add a new team member on your project or if you do create a new board like how I've done, how you can give people access to view your board and update your scrum board and all of that. Welcome back to Asia Scrum. I'm very happy to have you all for my current subscribers and my new subscribers. I'm happy to have you all. So let's get to the video. To be able to add new team member in your board, uh, you have to be a Jira administrator. Um, so in case you go in and you're like, oh, Aisha, I don't have the access. Yes, because you have to be an Jira admin before you can add people to your board uh, or your new project you've created. I'm sure if you're the one that created, then you have the Jira admin uh, access, right? But I know at work, for you to see the project settings, which is below here where we go and do that, you have to be a Jira administrator. And for me to add the new person, I just go to project setting. I click on the project setting and I go under people. Um, I go under people. Then under people. Oh, it's actually loading. Then under people, um, then I can add people to give people access to my board. Um, but I know at work, um, uh, when I create a project for me to add new people to the board, I have to go under users and role. Uh, in case you're like, oh, Aisha, I don't see people, right? I know this is like my home personal Jira, but at work I use I go under project setting, users and role, then I now add a user. But for mine, it's under people. So then I click on this add people icon at the top. I click on add people. And I'm going to invite uh, Ahmad. So as soon as I add the type their user email or their username at work, it will show up there. Then I click on the role. It's very important to have uh, have them this particular, uh, if they are a developer, a product owner, or Scrum Master, you give that person a particular uh, role because the different roles give them different access uh, in the board. And you don't want to have everyone in ad administrator. So I'm going to have Ahmad as basically a Scrum Master because Scrum Masters can start and end sprints. And we do not give that to developers. Developers can only update their board, vi visualize the board, and all of that. For Scrum Master, I'm going to give Scrum Master more access compared to everybody else in here. And the, whoever that created the project or your Jira administrator at work will have that admin, admin rights who basically can do everything in your board. So then I'm going to make him a Scrum Master. Then I hit add. And if you all want to learn how to add roles, if you don't know how to, you want me to create a video on how to add different roles in your board and different settings you give people, I can also do that. I can show you that in a different video. And now let me invite another person on the board and just here again, add people. And I go uh, the email. And right away, it's putting at gmail.com. And I'm gonna give this, make this person a product owner. I hit product owner and you add. And they're, they're telling me as soon as you hit add, you have added this email to your project. You will see them on your board once they have been assigned an issue. Yes, so then that's going to update. And also, these people will get email uh, about this um, new access. And then their role is all, all right, right next to their name. And that's just simple way how you can uh, invite people to your board or to your project. And if you've been finding my content valuable, do not hesitate to like and subscribe to my channel. And if you're interested in mentorship, um, please email me at admin at aishascromtech.com. Thank you all again and see you all again in my next video.